My name is Luke Turhayden. I work on the vCloud director team here at VMware, and I wrote Cloud Cleaner. So the reason that I wrote Cloud Cleaner is uh, because vCloud director works in tandem with vCenter server. And um, uh, when vCloud uh, director uses vCenter service, um, it creates a bunch of objects on there, and um, um, uh, along with objects that the user creates, like virtual machines, networks, resource pools, uh, and those kinds of things. And uh, the developers and the QA engineers, um, anytime we had to tear down what vCloud Director had set up on vCenter servers, you either had to do it by hand, or you had to completely restart uh, vCenter altogether. So uh, that's where Cloud Cleaner comes into play. Cloud Cleaner automates this process by uh, detecting the uh, entities that vCloud Director has created on vCenter and getting rid of those for you. I hope you find Cloud Cleaner useful. Um, please check it out. Um, I'm open to any uh, feedback that you have. Please leave it here at the site and I'll be checking it. And let me know if you have any suggestions. Thanks. Hey guys. So I'm going to walk you through the basic usage of the Cloud Cleaner tool. Um, so if you are using Windows, once you download Cloud Cleaner, you can just double click on it to start it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can just double click on it on the Mac. Um, I forget, but um, it's a self-executing jar and um, it has no other uh, resources that it needs. Um, let me just close this dialog. So the vCenter credentials dialog opens up as soon as you start Cloud Cleaner but it's off screen a little bit, so I'm just repositioning this. To add a vCenter, you just click this button, and then you enter in your, your um, vCenter. I'm going to use vSphere and vCenter interchangeably. Um, you enter in your um, vSphere or vCenter uh, IP address, your administrator username, and your um, password. So Cloud Cleaner can fetch all your uh, VC resources. Uh, only mark items created by vCloud Director, so um, that means that vCloud Director items will be marked for deletion by default. So we'll leave that checked, and I'm going to save my password and uh, click OK. You get a little confirmation dialog. So no changes are being made to your VC right now. Oh, and you'll see um, if you're like me, if you're using um, just the default SSL certificate, you'll get this warning. So here, Cloud Cleaner, Cleaner is going through, and it's um, taking a look at all the items that are in my vCenter. The uh, vCloud Director uh, objects are on the left, and they're in the Items to be Removed tree. The items on the right are other objects that we found in vCenter, things that were either custom made by you, um, or we just couldn't figure out what it was. Um, <clears throat> so we put them in this list. Um, you can drag and drop between the lists. So if you see items that you would like to remove that aren't in the list on the left, you can go ahead and move them over there. Or if there are items you want to keep that are on the left, similarly, you can move them over to the right. You can move entire categories like that. Here, I'll move this back over here. And then just take one virtual machine uh, that I want to be removed like that. Um, so that's pretty handy. Um, I'm going to remove these also, put these over here. And um, once you have, once the list on the left looks good and looks like those are the items that we want to have removed, we're going to go ahead and click Start Cleaning. And since we have a host um, that VCD prepared and we're going to have um, the uh, VCD agent removed, we have to put in our host credentials here. So just type those in, hit Save Password and we should be good to go. Now, um, oh yes, there's a confirmation dialog. Now, <clears throat> I've run this demo a couple of times, so my uh, vSphere is pretty empty. Yours may have a ton more items in it. Um, so my demo here should go pretty quickly. Uh, however, Cloud Cleaner works fine with multiple VCs and tons of um, objects, uh, VMs. We use this thing, we hammer on it all day. So, um, okay, it is unpreparing the host here. This should only take a sec. Okay, and there we go. So as you saw, <clears throat> the output, uh, the debug kind of debug 
log is down here. Um, email this to me if you have any questions or any problems. Um, my email is on the, the fling page. And um, as items are removed, um, they disappear from the list on the left, and the list on the right is preserved. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, when you run Cloud Cleaner, it'll make two files in the folder where you run it from. The SSL key store is where we store the certificates from the VC servers that we visit. And the cloudcleaner.ini just saves the input values um, for next time. So <clears throat> you can see here, um, I saved uh, the logins and the passwords. And the passwords are, oh, whoops. Uh, the passwords are encrypted. And um, I saved the last VC IP address uh, in case you, you know, for the next time you run it, it'll already be there for you. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much it. That's the basic usage. Um, I hope you find it useful. If you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to leave me feedback on the um, VMware uh, Fling page. And um, thanks for watching.